In the next movie, I'm going to describe the next element of coaching and scaffolding. The teacher's scaffolding role in an authentic learning environment means that there's no attempt to transmit knowledge. Uh, so the teacher's role is a more supportive rather than a didactic one and any help is often given at the metacognitive level. So rather than giving the answer if a student asks you a question, you perhaps answer with another question to guide them in a, a more scaffolded way rather than providing information directly to them. Uh, another um, point to note about scaffolding is that it's not always conducted by the teacher. Sometimes more able partners or people in a group can assist very well with that scaffolding role. Uh, an example I've got here is uh, tracking changes um, for an, uh, any um, writing that students do at university, but it can also be used at a, a very basic level with much younger students. For instance, here's a writing example from a, a year one student. Um, about our fun day. Yesterday we went to the pool. Now the teacher can go through and then working through with that student can provide that scaffolding by talking about the things that they've noted about their actual writing. So here you'll see Dear Casey, thank you for sharing your writing with me. I've made some suggestions for you to think about. Our fun day, this is a great title. Usually when we write a title, we put a capital letter at the beginning of each word and so forth. So the teacher has gone through to provide that kind of feedback that's really useful. Uh, in another situation, uh, using Twitter, uh, Dr. Monica Rankin at University of Texas in her history class, she used Twitter to scaffold student learning. And she found that students would often be quite willing to be involved with asking questions through Twitter and requesting help than they would by actually putting their hand up in the class. Does your learning environment allow for coaching and scaffolding? Some questions for you to ask. Is the teacher's role more supportive than didactic? Are more knowledgeable students able to assist with coaching because of the way the, the, room, the classroom context is, is uh, organised? Um, and is a teacher, guide or helper available to provide contextualised support? In the next movie, I describe the last element of authentic learning, authentic assessment.